<laughs> we're live hello greetings and good evening wherever you are in the world if you're watching this live a big hearty well done to you you've managed to navigate the hour that we lost here in the uk and still showed up on time gold star if you're watching this on catch up well it's great to have you here now uh, you might see me relaxing on my bargain chair uh, <laughs> from the cheap shop down the road from me. I haven't sat on this yet. It's rather comfortable. I wonder if I could do a session just sat on my chair. Maybe we'll do that one day. A big warm welcome, one and all. This is the Suarez live stream. It's number two from the brand new studio here in Badsey, in the heart of rural Eversham, about smack bang centre of the UK, wherever you are on the planet. Adi and I extend a massive welcome to you. And the word massive is going to continue all the way through this broadcast, because as you can see from the canvas on the floor, it's a massive one we're going to be doing for you right in front of your very eyes. But before we get going, we're going to run the titles. See you in 30 seconds. And we're back in the room. Well, we're still getting used to things here uh, on stream number two of the new place. Although I would like to point out it's our 192nd live stream. Can you believe that? It's a staggering number. What? <laughs> As always, we've got AD out in control, pressing all the buttons. Please do get involved in the chat. Show him some love. Say hello if you can. That would be amazing. We'll do a quick systems check and I'm going to explain what we're doing out on the canvas this evening. And we're also going to do some great shout outs to everybody who's joining us and see a few questions being asked already. Uh, so we'll do our best to answer those as we go on. We're still playing about with a few technical things, colour, saturation, gamma, all these kinds of things, plus the contrast. So uh, we're trying to figure those things out from this new space as we go on. So if things look a bit bright, a bit washed out or a little bit dark and grey, we're working on it. OK, we know corner cam is a good one. Let's go to overhead cam, buddy. Uh, uh, we hello. Down on my knees, jazz hands. Got to have a bit of jazz hands. It's a Suarez Wednesday. Uh, <clears throat> we have been um, doing some upgrades with the camera. We've got a brand new angle on it uh, for this stream. Last one, it wasn't too good. We couldn't get the whole of the painting in, but we pretty much think we've got it now. And the great thing about this camera, buddy, isn't it, is that it slides up and down. Look. Yeah, I'm actually stood in one place, but it goes backwards and forwards. So hopefully we're going to be giving you some really cool shots that you're not going to see anywhere else, period. On the internet, on the planet, in the universe. Well, that's why you're here. OK, brilliant. Let's go PTZ then, buddy. I'll, I'll, I'll come round to you, shall I? Hello, everyone. Here I am on another camera angle, camera number three. Let's go on to Rome Cam, because this is my favourite one roam cam here apologies if this looks a bit dark we've got a little a few bits of settings to figure out we we haven't quite figured things out yet let's go something colorful look um oh look what's this ed suarez lifestyle.com what's that then well you can treat yourself with a little bit of suarez magic on all the everyday things you might use there's a whole series of amazing things available over here on suarez lifestyle.com now that it's coming towards christmas of course we've got to start thinking Santa Claus needs to be busy. Let's give him something to be busy about. Uh, or FedEx or DHL. <laughs> Go treat yourself, folks. There are some absolutely amazing things. There's over 360 products now available at SuarezLifestyle.com. Right, while we are on Rome Cam, I am going to tell you about the canvas that I am just about to paint. This 245 centimetres square which if you work in Imperial, so all our uh, friends across the, the sea, across the Atlantic, that's 97 inches or 8 foot 1 inches. That's what we're going to be painting. That's primarily what I'm going to be doing. However, there's always a however. Have you noticed that? 
I have these two cheeky little numbers sat over here. And if two things happen, if, I, if this is done and I'm happy with it and you guys think it's awesome uh, and we've got enough time, we'll do these, those two cheeky little numbers. We'll splash some colour on and have some fun to end the stream. Does that sound all right? But predominantly, we are going to be looking at this one on the floor. It's quite a tall order to do this in quite a short space of time. However, because I've been doing this for such a long time, and for those of you that watch this before, you know, <laughs> I'm going to turn that into something magical in quite a short space of time. Let me introduce you while we're on Rome Cam to the colour palette this evening. This would be quite interesting now for all the monochrome lovers. Uh, this is the palette of colour. So it is a monochrome. So predominantly we are going for black and white. However, all is not as it seems. When is it ever? Uh, what we've actually got are... Uh, well, we've got two different blacks and two different whites. So that's two variations. Added to that, I've also got semi-gloss and gloss. So we're playing with two different whites and blacks and two different finishes. Into that as well, I'm also going to be uh, popping in the, the uh, gold. This is the royal gold, or the queen's gold as we call it. Yay, we finally got some. Woohoo! <laughs> And we finally got a paint delivery. I uh, must shout a big shout out to Bailey's Paints because they have uh, driven this up for quite a long way from where they're based um, and delivered it to us today. So uh, props to you guys. Thank you very much for that. And uh, yeah, at great expense. We've got two cans. Um, so uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, and we might be adding in this. Can you just see that? I think you can. Adding in a little drop of this copper. Now, this copper is all but dried up because we've had it quite a while. You can see inside, look, this is literally bone dry. It's just that's as hard as anything. <laughs> but, there you go. Uh, but I've managed to dig a little well and give it a bit of a jizz around. So we're probably going to stick some of that on it as well. Now, we are about to get painting. That's the exciting bit. I will be honest with you guys. This is a client commission. So I got pressure on me. I've got lots of material costs and I've got probably clients watching as we speak in the background uh, that this is the first of their paintings. It's going to be a set of two for them. This is the first variation. Uh, two spaces, so there'll be two for each, so in four in total. And I get a choice to choose which one they want. So pressure is on me. Whilst we do this and we entertain and do all these wonderful things for your viewing pleasure, uh, let us not forget that I run a business. That's what we do every day. We come here and I've got real paying clients who um, are commissioning these paintings. Not quite a lot of commissions to do, actually. So you'll probably over the next few weeks see a lot of uh, commission paintings actually being done. I quite like that because, like I say, it, it's a pressure. Uh, why not? Let's just have the pressure on. Let's just do it live, you know. We might just be popping up in the week and doing it live because I've got that much to do. Um... If, if I just painted solidly for a week, I still wouldn't, you know, or two weeks, I still wouldn't be anywhere near where I want to be. Anyway, right, let's get some paint on. Client wants predominantly black with all the other stuff over the top. So we're going to go a little crazy now. Uh, I'm going to start with the semi-gloss black, and then I'll go in the gloss black. And as always, folks, I am watching now on a big giant screen over there where I can see all your... Well, I can't see any of your comments, actually, because I haven't switched the comments on. Sorry, just bear with me a second, folks. I'm still getting used to this. No, I cannot turn on the comments. So, unfortunately, nobody, I can't... I'm, I'm talking to Aidy now. No, I go up and down on my jibber-jabber, and I cannot... I've got no access to any live comments. You've got no access. Do you want me no. to pop in and do it for you? Would you be all right? You yeah. can say hello to ADA. He's going to Grand take us. Oh, shit. You don't know how to work this one, Sonny. Can you help me? <laughs> right, I'm coming. Right, Aidy's going to come in. I better open the door for him. Right, I'll, I'll say some hellos while we're doing that. Right, he's come out of his pit. Um, I know we've got a question from... Oh, here he is. Look. Let's see. No, look. You, yeah, you press the button. Right, so I've been pressing that. Yeah, so where's the option for... I've got no thumbnails and I've got nothing there. Yeah. So, I can't... 
Are we going back out and going back in again? Sorry, folks. I've, I've got to get the comments up on my screen. Let's see if he's any good. Oh, no, I've got a swirling thing going on. Ah, connecting to live chat. Oh, you just in front of everybody as well. Okay. Thank you. Right. Okay. Now we can get going. <laughs> Eric. Oh, 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 John B's answered Eric's question. Right. We'll, we'll come back to that in just a second. Uh, because there's uh, there's a lot of your comments coming through. Great. I can see it all on the telly now. See, you've never got a four-year-old around when you need one, have you? Except me. <laughs> right, folks. Okay. Thanks, mate. Thanks, dude. Right. Are we You're ready? welcome. Are we ready to get some pay? Let, let's, let's get AD on the line, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah, come in yes. there. Ask, ask him some questions or do yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what are you putting on there then? Is that the gloss? Oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, yes. Eric Pym. Yes. So, he said acrylic and flow troll, question mark. Uh, and I think, uh, John, did John B. Martinez answer his question before I got to it? Mm, it is, yeah. I'm not sure. Industrial. Too busy fixing too busy. somebody's television for them. <sighs> too busy helping out a noob. Is yes. That right? Yeah, someone who has no that's... idea what they're doing. Yeah. Cheers for that. Yes. Uh, usually <laughs> yeah. enamel and some special chemicals. There you go. There you yes. go. Thank, thank you for asking the question, Eric. <clears throat> we will get uh, to your questions if you uh, if you do ask one. Uh, but thank you for that. We'll, so, we'll, we'll do the whole uh, who's here and who isn't here in a minute. So is that let me the just gloss get some black paint on. or is that the satin black? That is the semi-gloss, buddy. Semi-gloss. Yeah. Okay. So we're going in with the gloss now. Now I've seen pictures of oh my life. the what are you owe my life thing about. How much black? Well, client wants it predominantly black. Do you know how black. much that costs? I do know how much it costs because I pay for it all. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sad part. I also know what the client's paying for this, so we're okay. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay. Client really wants a lot of black, and then everything else is kind of going on over the top of it. All right. So what might seem like, oh goodness me, Ed, what on earth are you doing? Uh, I'm going to be using a couple of tools I don't normally use, so you might think, what am I going to do? How am I going to spread this around? I'm about to show you. I do let us know uh, about audio quality, that kind of stuff. If you've got any, any feedback for us, we're, we're only on week two in the new place. So of course, we are still getting used to everything. We're going to get the first kind of wave on, and then... We're going to do some shout outs. Got to be careful when I, I don't put any silver on just at the moment. Um, I think I'm going to do the white. And before we start moving it around, we'll definitely say hello to everyone. So now I've got to be careful. I'm going to go in with the gloss white first, but I'm going to get this into some containers. And my containers will allow me to regulate how much goes on. Black, I'm not really, really bothered about because there's going to be lots of that on. But the clients are in uh, quite a minimal property. They're beautifully built. Built one. They built themselves. In kind of a dream home for them. So, at this kind of stage, I want to be quite quite careful with my white and not go massively over the top. Can always add it in. Just can't take it away. So, the other white, which I'm keeping down the end of the table so that I don't mess them up. This is the semi-gloss. And there is a difference in consistency. Question I get asked quite a lot, which is great. And what's quite interesting about this is the effect that the textures give when the light hits it. So by taking some of the gloss medium out, we really do get quite a change in what it looks like as the light is absorbed or reflected accordingly which is really pretty cool. So we've got two lots of black, and we've got two lots of white on there. Not a huge amount at the moment. I'm quite aware as well that I've got a lot of canvas to fill. Now, <laughs> even though the client only wants little drops of gold, when does that ever stop us from lo loading a painting full of gold? So let's get about, there we go. Let's get about 40 pounds worth of gold into the tin. This is all How much are you using there? Well, that's about 40, 40, that's about 40 goods worth, isn't it? And, and the rest. Is it? <laughs> oh, blimey, look at it. I know, right. So where am I seeing daisy there. Yeah. You can get some really nice effects if this goes in with the black, because we're going to be using a spreading tool. 
as I work round. So I'm going to work this into the black rather than it just sitting on its own. It's going to sit and it's going to get moved as I move the black. You probably see that splitting now as it hits. I'm going to work everything towards the centre. And that's the general plan, all from the outside, all congregating in the centre. And we're going to give the centre a splash of thinners and watch everything move organically. Then, at only that point, are we going to potentially add a little bit of copper. Copper isn't in the brief, but copper's got this warmth to it. You'll see that when I put it on. It just has almost like an orange tinge to it. And looking at their interior fittings and design and the how sympathetic they've been to the natural surroundings. I want to bring a little bit of woody warmth into it as well. So it looks terrible at the moment, but that's all about to change. Just before we get going, I'm glad we're on Corner Cam. I'm going to show you the tools. Let me come up and show you on Corner Cam. And I'm going to say some big shout outs to everybody. Uh, there you go. So this is a homemade, I say homemade, AD made it. Piece of flat steel sheet, sandwiched between uh, two two by one inch pieces of timber. And that's quite, quite flexible. Uh, so I can f kind of feel what that's like when I'm with the paint. It's, it's bizarre, even with small thicknesses of paint, uh, your hand builds up a kind of knowledge about what feels like like being pressed down or not. You tend to play with pressures with your wrist. It's just something you learn. Uh, that which is a drywall trowel, uh, and that is going to be called a taping knife. It's going to be used uh, on some of the other areas. So that's predominantly what we're going to use. Paint's quite happy just to sit there for a bit. It's going to get a tiny squirt of thinners just to keep it from forming a skin. And then right back around to the computer to do some shout outs. That'll bring me up to date on the screen because I've got my big screen in front of me. Now that aid is fixed here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, let, let, let's, let's go. Let's go from the top, eh, guys? Uh, Nihal was first through the door. Hello, Nihal. Great to see you on here. Henry Dehan wants his purple. Hello, Henry. Uh, we've got Robert. Robert's joining us at three o'clock Pittsburgh time. Yeah. Hen Hen Henry. What's what, what? What? What's on my face? Is that is that purple? Is it? Yeah, you want any purple? There you go. Look, you've got it. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't think there's going to be any more tonight. Uh, Annette. Uh, hello, Annette. Great to see you here. And Nancy. Oh, got to go as well. Nancy can't stay. Uh, Denise Weeks. Happy Suarez Wednesday. Lynn Sutherland and Funny Fox. Good day. Loving the uh, icons. Zane says good day. And hello, Aroha uh, from New Zealand. Alan Hillier and Sandy McGill and Eleanor have also joined us. Good day to you folks. Deb. Attila. Hey, good evening. And Board Fruit donkey hello paula paula's changed name board fruit donkey i love it we'll try and remember that uh Jairo rodriguez and eric we always said said hello to eric thank you for asking the questions uh warm north says uh hi ed uh so that's great oh, it's great to see you here buddy thank you uh patricia and lee and john b martinez how is it doing in uh, new york is the reader here What's he doing in New York, buddy, while I'm reading these out? Let's have a look. Well, well let's have a... I'm just going to have a quick look. Now, I might have to get rid of uh, adverts first, but... Okay, see. I'll carry on. I'll carry on oh, chatting no, then. I've got it, I've got, got it, it, I've got it. So, uh, two oh. seconds. Oh, uh, oh. It is 48 degrees Fahrenheit. Not sure what that is in Celsius, but it's 48 mm. degrees Fahrenheit. And what is the... I shall, I, shall, I shall go my pointer of it. What's this giant candy cane inflatable thing? Ooh. Somebody tell me what that is. There you go. I'll keep shouting out. Uh, Sandy. Hello, Sandy. And State Wench too. And we've got uh, Tomiko. Hello, Tomiko. Great to see you here as well. Uh, lots of people joining us now for the live. Hunter says hello. And so does V. Great to have you guys back. Thank you. And uh, who else have we got? Uh, we've got Lumery Aleka. Hello, says Lumery. Uh, Annie is also here. Hello, Annie. And uh, uh, I bet that's a question you answer a lot. It is funny, Fox. You're correct. Uh, Briss. Hello from Cameroon. Good day to you. And who else have we got just dropping through the door? Gallery Lorenz. Hello, everyone. Hello. Thank you for joining us. I think that's kind of brought us up today. XRP Wealth. And good day from Miami Beach. Oh, grab us a cold one. I hope the weather's good where you are. <laughs> Great to see you. Has that brought me up to date? I think it has. Right. Let's get some gloves on. 
Hi Zane, uh, question. How is it that you, Ed, needed a mask, yet you, AD, didn't when entering the pod? That's a first in 192 steam streams as far as I can recall. Well, Zane, Ed had only just taken the lids off the paints and the extractor is on, believe it or not, even though it's ultra quiet now and hidden away. So for those brief moments, I didn't need any kind of breathing mask. I would now, now that Ed's popped the paints down on to the canvas uh, and quite a lot of it, it's going to be quite strong in there now. So if I were to go in again, if obviously said person couldn't understand how to run a TV, you know what I'm saying? I'd have to put a mask on. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, he's, he's getting a lot of mileage out of that, isn't he? Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll keep hearing about that all on the way home. Uh, right, we're going in. Yeah, th but thank you for asking the question, Zane. That, that's great. And we do, you know, in all seriousness, uh, want you to get involved. So if you've got questions, please ask. Good, bad or indifferent, we don't mind. We're all about being involved. So right now, I'm going to go for some gentle swoops. Hopefully being fairly sympathetic to the amount of paint that I'm moving around. Let's see where we go. Now this technique, it's a great one because you can cover a lot of ground very quickly, providing you don't mind getting on your hands and knees. So let's bring that round. It's definitely a hands and knees kind of evening. And then we'll go in with the drywall one in a moment. I think what I'm going to do then is grab that one, take that kind of to the middle. A lot of this is going to be quite reactive um, because even though I can feel what's going on underneath, even though I can't see what's going on until I come out the other side, uh, it isn't a fine art by any means. So I need to be mindful of where the paint's going and try to have a reaction to it as I'm moving it around. So things may be subject to change. I'm not quite light in this corner. So just give me a second. Quite swirly, quite organic, but client wants to keep it quite dark. Now see ye, I just see from the telly, joined us. Great to see you. Thanks for him. I'm doing a little loose of the trek here. Thank heavens. Oh, little girls. A horse. Ooh. I'm sure I'll, I'm just about to get rid of that then. Oh no, who's that? Let's have a look from Texas. Oh, Henry. And perhaps we will meet in a gallery or art show someday. Oh, is that to me? Have I missed the thread of the uh, conversation there? Sorry, Henry. Right, okay. So, I'm thinking now might be... Oh, for Tamika, okay. I didn't want, to, didn't want to miss anything. That's fine, guys. No problem. Uh, hi from Texas, Gagawala. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but thank you for being here. Uh, uh, hope Texas is... <laughs> right now. Trying to... Um... <clears throat> Just evenly distribute a little bit of paint around. Not too bad so far. Uh, let's give my skadusha a bit of a wipe down. Let's just take ourselves a moment. Got to remind myself in my head that this is black with hints of other colours. Okay? Rather than really lightening it up. Um, it's a, even though I just want to stick a load of white on there. and um, but To be quite uh, mindful of what I'm doing for the client. Um, how is a man of uh, Ed's experience great skill and obvious ability to create a few problem solve can't figure out how to use a telly <laughs> cheers Zane I, th I thought you were here. I thought you liked me <laughs> I'm joking I I'm know not... buddy it's terrible isn't it 
Yeah. Zane, he's, you know, he has to be watched constantly. Otherwise, he'll break things. He does. He breaks things all the time. If I hadn't have gone in there, that telly would have been upside down and with sparks flying out of it. Oh, dear. It's a good job I've got broad shoulders, isn't it? So, we'll work on all the subtleties some of the time. Let's just bring this out. Now, obviously, before too many things happen elsewhere, there is going to be an element of removing and kind of adding and negotiating, and we've got the copper to go in as well. I'm going to kind of head over that way, uh, I think. Uh, Lol Zane says, Funny Fox to Miko, do you have Henry DeHaan, do you have a website? I was not to. Oh, eh, everyone's just having a chat except for me. I'll just carry on. You, you guys chat amongst yourselves. I'll just carry on painting. <laughs> I'm joking. It's great to see you chatting to each other. Yes, Paula, you're right. Every artist does need an AD. You are right. It, it, it's quite interesting, actually. Um, and I'll, t I'll tell you this exactly how it happened. I was with a client yesterday in Milton Keynes delivering a painting that she bought. And two of her friends were there and uh, asking about techniques and really kind of very interested uh, in uh, how we do things. And I explained you know, myself and Aidy here, and they said, well, what does he do? And actually, when you stop and think about it, it's, it's to try and quantify that is actually quite difficult because his skill range is, is just, it's off the scale. So, so Paulie, you're absolutely right. Everyone does need an AD, but it's, when you try and explain to somebody what does he do, I mean, it's very easy to explain what I do, but it, it is, it's quite tricky. But he does everything. Um, you know, um, you know, all the BS aside, uh, it, it's just, it's just, I'm always amazed by what he's capable of. Don't mind saying that to his face. But I, I do, you know, it's, it's quite... His ability to solve problems or come up with solutions is... I've never met anyone like him. So, you're right, Paula. I, I, I need to to hire him out. That's, that, that's that's my pension sat there. He doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Where am I going today, mate? Uh, you're going to Basingstoke near London. Why? Don't worry about that. You're on £100 an hour. <laughs> but I'm only paying you 10 <laughs> Yeah, anyway. There you go. Right. Okay, so we're, we're kind of gently moving this around, which is nice. I like, the, so far, the blend between um, the black and the white. I'd rather not get too mad, because I can always add, can't I? You want to know that, those creatives amongst you, you can add to stuff, but it's incredibly difficult sometimes to take it away again. More white is going to go on, that's for sure. But let's get a covering. And using this flat piece of steel, you know, I'm going to revert to the tool in a moment. Great, because you can cover quite large distances and actually get some really, like that, like multiple swoops at the same time. Some really neat effects. And that's one of the things I like about doing this. Don't use this that often. Probably because it's more suited to larger works of art. Really be doing that many of those. And certainly not <laughs> since we have we're forced to move studios and do anything. But uh, on this occasion thought, yeah, great. Let's just let's, let's make something quite interesting. You know, with all these seams, little swirls and movements. You know, black can be quite ominous, a little bit oppressive. And this client's home is pretty incredible. And I think I need to be sympathetic with that, but also give them something, a little bit of drama, some intrigue. I also want to give them endless hours of being able to look at it and think, wow, I didn't see that before. And a little bit of practice with this technique gives me just that. So I'm just starting to pick up paint and drop it back down again, because I can see where I'm going to need a little bit of white to go on. With a little nice bonus about using this, which you can pick paint up, and as it accumulates in volume, you can there you go, pick it up and deposit it elsewhere. And have some little loops and swoops on there of the white. It's going to help me redistribute a little bit. I can't see comments at the moment. Hopefully, you're enjoying this. 
so yeah let's get this uh let's get this gold up here it's giving the black quite a nice tinge in places which is really nice this needs a lot of tidying up but at least get some paint covered Oh, thank you, Denise. That's very kind of you. you know, renovation skills have certainly been put to the test uh, in this place you know, since signing lease. In fact, we signed it on August the 1st. It's more or less taken us three months to become you know, what I call operational. So by no means an easy or quick fix. But you know, such is the way. These things happen in life, don't they? We've just got to get on with it. The difference is uh, how we choose to deal with it. Right. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of maneuvering around some of this in a little while because I want to look at distribution of the colours. If I go quiet, it's because I'm concentrating, make the most of it. Doesn't happen that often, does it, mate? Normally you can't shut me up. No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, we're supposed to disagree. Yeah, right. Anyway. Oh, no, no, of course. Mm. You're, you're very quiet. You, you <laughs> barely say a word. You, you're, you're a little, little field mouse. It's a terrible liar he is. So we can work on all the gentle kind of close-up skadooshes and little nuances very shortly. I also want to plug some gaps, but um, this is not too bad so far. I'm kind of liking that. We're going to drizzle on some copper. And then I'm going to have to be starting to reach in and manoeuvre around some of these um, white patches. We're going to do a roam cam shot in a moment. I just want to deal with my edges just a little bit. I may even be scooping up a little bit of a drop of paint here and there. What's the difficulty with making something predominantly black? This is at what point do you add too much lightness to something actually which is supposed to be pretty much featuring the, the joy of all these different darker tones so I'm quite aware of that and in places now I can feel it just starting to get a little thick so I'm going to work a little quick so if I don't say a huge amount now it's because I need to work fairly quickly as the paint is starting to cure so breasts yeah bris sorry yeah should be tricky <laughs> using that of trying to maneuver that much black it is actually it is tricky because black tends to swallow just about everything you throw at it so it's always a bit of a bit of a knife edge this kind of thing if he says i need an ad in my life <laughs> well, you can't have him <laughs> Uh, thank you, Paula. Paula's saying that the on camera the black looks velvety and very deep in its colour. In actual fact, you're right. We're going to look on the Rome cam in just a second, Paula, and I hope that will show everybody just how epic this colour really is. I mean, uh, I always think black gets a bit of a raw deal with a lot of things. It's uh, it can be used very oppressively, but I do believe that if it's used sympathetically. It's one of the most powerful colours if you think it's uh, got quite a finality attached to it. You know, there's no real, there's no real escape from it, is there? If it's dark, it's dark, and if it's black, it's black, and that's the way it goes. So I think if we can use it effectively, it can be an incredibly emotive colour. Hopefully, I'm doing that justice. Right, roam cam, buddy. Should we do roam cam? Oh, Zane's asked an absolute bonzer of a question. Is the new paint pod bigger or smaller than the old one? What a, what a peach of a question. Uh, I can tell you that its usable area uh, is exactly the same. Uh, it's just that I haven't crowded it with stuff and rubbish like the old one. So we have got seven meters by four meters of usable space, which is the floor space, which is exactly what we had before. Although, in the old place, it was tended to be covered with a lot of stuff. 
Um, so yeah, it actually is the same, but I've got to be honest, Zane, it does feel bigger. It really does feel bigger to me. It's crazy, isn't it? Don't quite understand it. Anywho, are we ready for a bit of a look with the old roam cam? Here we go. Let's do it. Just do it. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Nothing is impossible. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Let's see all the variations in thickness of paint. What's quite difficult to show you whilst they're liquid is the difference between the gloss and the semi-gloss. But as it dries, those differences will actually become more apparent. So see, why, why do I work on the floor? Would it not be easier on a big movable table? Well, there's two answers to that. First, I do have many movable tables, as hopefully you may have seen in other broadcasts, ones that spin, ones that go flat, ones that turn vertically, etc., etc. But certain techniques of paint require machines and other ones do not. And it's basically as simple as that. Things like this, where I need to work on a horizontal plane, uh, are just a lot easier to manage uh, when they're flat. Can't do it on an angle, can't do it on a slope because the paint moves, which is fine if you want to get a certain kind of finish. But I know what I'm trying to achieve with this, and the only way for me to do that is to do it flat. So I hope that kind of answers your question. What do we think of that then so far? We're on, we're on kind of pass number one. Look, we've got all these swirling effects going on we're going to add some copper now we're going to change the tool okay let me know what you think about that i'll have a look up at the comments hopefully we've managed to capture that reasonably well on roam cam we're going to have another look at that on roam cam very shortly um just going to change uh, my tool out let's have a little look um thank you bris this looks interesting um when I was in art school, we weren't allowed to use black. <laughs> the minute I graduated, black became one of my favourite tools. Wielded right, it's powerful. I couldn't agree more, Paula. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, Tomiko says, very nice. Thank you very much. Uh, just like you will look up your office Suarez episode. Mobreno from Juan Fernandez. Thank you. Uh, right, Funny Fox asked a question. Let's go back to that. What was the biggest challenge during the move? What a good question. Well, oh, that is a tricky one to answer. Um, I'll answer it. Yeah, you answer, mate, and then I, th I think I've got. I'll add to that in a second. The table. That table weighed. What are we saying? Three hundred and fifty kilograms, mate. Three hundred and fifty kilogram table. Our flat table that we do our stretching and uh, framing and things like that. We had to initially strap it to uh, an RSJ in the old place. We then had to use two, three props to, wooden props to tilt it onto its side. We had to buy special rollers to put it on so we could get it through the door. I had to take the frame of the door out. Well, I had to cut the frame of the door out so that we could get it through the door and then wheel it through. Then the wheels kept falling off. Then we had to get it from eight, nine feet in the air down to the van, didn't we? Yeah. Um, yeah, and then onto the back of the van. Once it was on the back of the van, when we got to the new place, it was then how to get it off and how to fit it in, where there's a slope that comes into the new place. Uh, it was it was challenging. It, I, I did a lot of head scratching um, and a bit of on the spot, sort of coming up with stuff. But we got it here, we got it back down, we got it on its legs, wheels, and it's in and good to go. Yeah, that, that, that was an absolute nightmare, wasn't it? <clears throat> you know, and that was done without any specialist equipment. In fact, all we used was a forklift truck, which we borrowed from somebody at the old, on the old estate, friends of ours with an engineering company. But that was a huge challenge. And I think it's such a centerpiece uh, to our operation <clears throat> that uh, that table just had to come over. But uh, removing doorways and things like that to get it out. Oh, my goodness, it's just a nightmare. Um, 
Would I add anything else to that, buddy? I don't know. I can't think off the top of my head while I'm trying to do this. Uh, well, that was probably, uh, for me, you... yeah, that was one of the worst things to yeah. do. I oh, no, the, the wood, for me. The wood? I, yeah, I remember when uh, our friends Sergey, Nastia and Emil were here. Uh, they, uh, on one of the videos, which you can see uh, on the channel, moving all those uh, storage shelves. For me, that was a nightmare as well. They're trying to organise the timber this end and load it all in the van. And get every uh, piece of wood. There's yes, four four hundred pieces of timber had to be moved and reorganised here, and ten ten brand new shelving units had to be made. Uh, and we, of course, yes, that yes. was a nightmare as well, mate. Yeah. I never want to do that again. Well, the other the other thing for me was um, obviously Ed's um, was away uh, last week. Obviously, that's why we didn't do the live stream. And I took the uh, old paint pod down. Um, it bit me on my little finger. Pretty nasty. Um, I have got some footage of that, uh, but I, we haven't put that out yet. I've got to get that uploaded yet so that we can then show you guys. But that was pretty nasty for me. So back to the painting. I've woven in a few strands of the copper, like I said I was going to do. Just deciding whether to leave them, the strands. Some of this is going to kind of uh, wash away uh, when I get a dose of thinners very shortly but what I'm doing now is making sure I can weave in enough of the gold that's underneath it's underpinning of gold and then really it comes down to making those choices about the white and is there enough is there too much is there not enough where it should be etc etc so that's what I've got to be quite mindful of at the moment I'm pleased with the way the black is holding up. So I have got this darkness to it, but it's kind of alleviated with all this lovely gold. And hopefully now just these odd few strands of warmth that we get from the copper. That's what I'm trying to figure out as to whether that's got the right balance or not. What is going to be difficult is getting into the center, um, but I'll figure that out. Just want to make sure that all my little skadooshes are okay. That before some of this starts to go off, I'm getting as much bang for my buck as possible. Right, I wonder if I could put my hand in there. Uh, Cloudy Art! Hello, Cloudy Art. How nice of you to join us. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Not going with any silver just at the moment. I think I'm going to hold off the silver. There will be more variations. Uh, for the client to be done but for this one i want to give them something that's as fairly close to the brief as possible and so there's a time and a place to go nuts <laughs> and with the first one it definitely isn't <laughs> so it might be with the second one though i mean i normally do all right ah well state wrench yes we've talked about me going in a harness before now proper mission impossible style um so yeah we will we will definitely get that at some point now we've got a fixed ceiling and i'm sure you can find a way to secure me quite happily without me falling to my death <laughs> for the love of uh, painting um uh, so yeah yeah it's definitely one on the cards that would be fun wouldn't it now that's definitely one to tune in for when i'm Stuck in this cradle, sort of swinging over here. He'd probably leave me here all night, though, knowing him just for giggles. He said, "Right, I'm off now, mate. Well done." <laughs> so, so, I'm still on me. I'm still in here. Let me out. No, that could be quite. Yeah, that would be an entertaining episode, wouldn't it? Mm, art artists get stranded on the ceiling in a in a harness. Yeah. Mm. I did say hello to Robert. Yes, yeah, because Rob, Rob Robert joined at three o'clock. Uh, was it? Um, not in Massachusetts, where is he? Pittsburgh time, was it? Yeah. Multi-Revelator. Hello, Multi-Revelator. I think Jeffrey Jenkins is here from the Oak Park League as well. I'm going to say to you, hello to you. Great to see you here. Um, I do apologise if I've missed anybody. It's not an intention. Um, well, we've got quite a big skadoosh of gold here. Let's see what we can do with that to kind of maybe manoeuvre it around. We haven't used the other tool. This is the way it goes sometimes. I said we're going to use the drywall tool, but actually, not feeling that we need it at the moment. Uh, I 
Right, just got to look at these edges just a minute. As you can see over now on the screen, I'm give you a little reminder of all the networks that we're on. Lots of really cool content going on at the moment. Lots of small videos, pictures of the things that we're doing, you know, both behind the scenes and in front of the camera, and indeed customer facing as well. So whatever platform you tend to use the most, you can find us on them all. Details are on your screen on the little ticker. Pretty good so far. I'm liking that. Oh, good. Right, let's get these gloves off. Right, so guys, if you are enjoying this, and hopefully you are, where are we, buddy? Which camera? Oh, time for our... It's just got in. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so guys, if you are enjoying this, remember to give us a nice big thumbs up. Uh, <clears throat> not in the comments, obviously. That's really nice. But, you know, somewhere on your screen, if you're on a mobile... Scroll down a little bit and you see a little thumb icon. You can do it on your TV as well. Just use the up arrow and scroll across. If you hit the thumbs up button, that would be amazing because it just tells the Google bots you're enjoying this, which of course you're watching it, so hopefully you are, and it might just recommend it to somebody else. It could also do with cheering up and being sat down this evening watching us two goons uh, create something wonderful. Uh, remember also, as if you haven't already subscribed, we've got a lot of new faces here tonight, do hit the big red button. That way you'll always get notified of all the videos that are coming up and hopefully that means you don't miss anything. We've also got lots of our patrons here this evening. A very warm welcome to all of you guys as well. And you can go and check out what that's all about. In fact, if you shrink me down, buddy, and I'll point up into the corner, maybe I'll show you what that's all about. Lots of exclusive content specifically for our patrons. You can join us for a very, very minuscule, tiny monthly charge. And that will give you access to tons of behind the scenes content and the things that nobody sees uh, normally on all the other networks. That would be great to see you over there as well, folks. Right. OK, let's get back to the painting then. Let's see what you all think of that. I'm quite happy with that. It's quite moody. It's quite dark. It's very involved. Now, I know where this is going to go. This is going to go in quite a high space. There's going to be one either side of a walkway between bedroom and upper levels. Uh, so I've now got to think to myself, really, do I need to add any more lightness to this? What am I going to do? Well, I think one of the things I'm definitely going to do is add some thinners to it. We need to start moving this paint around a little bit. We've only got a small amount of copper on, because it doesn't need a lot. Okay, good start, good start of a 10, this one. I'd rather be cautious from the start rather than go completely mad. So, can't take it off again. Maybe he's going to give you a few zooms so you can see what it's all about. I think we're going to go fairly generous now uh, with the thinners. And then when I do the next one, uh, I think we're going to go completely nuts with the next one. Um, but for now, quite like this one. So we're on overhead, are we, buddy? Yeah. Right, okay, so I'm going in just with the thinners, no special source yet. And I'll give this, I'm looking at what's coming out of the nozzle. Okay, let's see what I can, see what I can get moving, especially going into the center. And I'll just figure out where I need to dwell with the thinners and how much I'm going to have to put on this little line forming as well. I've got to be very careful of that. Ah, Aaron, hello from Peterborough. Uh, nice to hear from you, Aaron. Great, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here. Um, where, did you, where did you hear about us, Aaron? I'm just dead curious now. Uh, where did you find out about the stream? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. <laughs> I'm really interested to hear. Ah, Alan says, looks almost marble-like. Well, hopefully now the advent of the thinners is going to start to bring out some quite interesting features what the thinners does uh, it's quite an interesting thing as it thins the paint of course we've got different densities on top of each other so we tend to get uh, pools starting to form um, things starting to move all over the place and as thick paint moves over thin paint or semi-cured and semi-dried paint which is why i tend to add the thinners at this point of the uh, broadcast what we actually get is this really interesting kind of oh, i can't even describe the effect i guess you'll see when i photograph this uh, but even now, look, things are starting to change. 
Um, <clears throat> and we'll start to get where there is a, a slightly heavier element of things, where there is more volume put on. Specifically, I've put that towards the centre. Hopefully that's going to start and manoeuvre itself around a little bit. And then as it hits other areas of paint, they're kind of the same. We should start to get these rivers and valleys start to form. So we'll get high points, we'll get low points. I'm going to show you that back on Rome Camp very, very shortly. Uh, but so far, oh, it's nice, man. the heater is very nice. That's, that's not bad at all. I'm kind of liking the way this is developing. It's quite slippy around the canvas, so I've got to be careful. Otherwise, you're going to see me actually form part of my own artwork as I fall ungracefully onto the surface of it. And let's be honest, none of us want that to happen. Uh, right, it's a good question from Lynn. Uh, yeah, uh, basically the, the synopsis of that is um, being able to cut something down so she can fit it on a wall. Well, yeah, Lynn, I, I know because we've had this conversation uh, before, haven't we, about that you don't have uh, a huge amount of uh, space to put anything. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I am going to be concentrating on smaller works, definitely, hopefully, as we run up to Christmas. So thank you for the nudge. Um, oh, Funny Fox. Bill Fox needs to read books now, and uh, don't want to leave the stream, but it's night, we have a lovely time, good night from the Fox. Well, thank you, Funny Fox, for joining us, it's very kind of you, thank you very much indeed. Um, oh, now then, we have Cult of Gaming, number one, hello Cult of Gaming, uh, so happy to see you both painting live again, I've missed watching you paint, but thank you, that's very kind of you, but we have to celebrate Cult of Gaming has donated 20 Canadian dollars. What? Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you very much. That's incredibly kind of you. I'm always really stoked when, when people voluntarily do this I, it always quite amazes me as to why but i'm genuinely very grateful that's that's the cappuccino run sorted for the next couple of days and we're very grateful <laughs> i was supposed to thank you i'm much, very very much appreciated uh, so cloudy art asked is that alcohol uh, that i sprayed uh no actually it's just uh i say standard paint thinners are we still corner are we buddy there you go it's just paint thinners and this is designed for solvent-based paints. That's it. If you're going to use a solvent-based paint, ask for a solvent-based thinners. Hence the fire extinguisher there and the fire extinguisher over there. Because things can, there you go, things can definitely set fire very quick, on fire very quickly. And we do have that on occasions. Not on a live stream, thankfully. Uh, more on the experimental side of things. But yes, it can definitely go a little bit um, pear-shaped every now and again uh okay right so let's give ourselves a moment and just recoup on where we're at do i now need to add anything to that let's remind ourselves the client this is a client painting they want predominantly black and then want just to add hints of white and gold to it i've added a little bit of copper in for warmth do i need to do anything else to that I'm not sure i do but as ever i can't stop messing so i'm going to grab another tool because there's a couple of small areas I need to have a little look at. Right, time for art. Thank you for the feedback. Just said about uh, jumping to an advert and then kind of jumping back, back again, which is odd. There shouldn't be any adverts live on the stream. If you're watching this on catch up, there will be adverts because we've got to pay a few bills. But no, live, that's very odd. I wonder if um, wonder if YouTube are having a few gremlins. I, I really appreciate the feedback. Thank you, obviously we need to know that. But no, it shouldn't, shouldn't be anything untoward or sinister. We, I don't know, I don't understand that. Yeah, it's set that uh, whenever anybody watches live, which is obviously the best way, there'll be no commercials, no interruptions, because we feel for you guys that are here, um, that give us your time to watch us, we want to give this to you. Uh, with no interruptions and things like that but like ed says unfortunately 
due to things costing money and costing a lot more these days we do have to pay the bills so once this is ended i go in and i set it for commercials to be on there so that's the only time you should really see commercials you shouldn't see it during a live stream there is there is a caveat i'll just add to to what ad very well explained there and that's that um i'm very well aware that youtube are making a lot of changes uh, at the moment as they see their own revenues well i say drop i don't know if they're dropping but corporations are always after more dollar you know it's never enough is it oh, we've made three billion this debt today but that's not enough we want four and I, i'm aware that they're monetizing channels that don't actually click on them being monetized and this is so that they can literally gain every kind of advertising dollar from as many places as they can even if you haven't authorized that on your own channel so they now have the power to override basically anything you want so i don't know well, well, well let's keep our eyes on that folks if if you're watching live and you start to get adverts i please do tell us because that's not what we're, we're after at all as ad says the beauty of this live is that you not only get it as it as i'm doing it from wherever you are on the planet but you can do it without advertisements getting in the way so trust us if you get adverts it is not because we've switched the button that says monetize i can promise you that right now oh aaron watching us up the old studio and following on facebook well i really appreciate it. i mean thank you um lovely to see you here and uh, thanks for joining us Hi Zane, question. So, other than creating a fire, what is the effect you get with lighting, igniting some of the paint? Or is it just too volatile to be useful for effect? Uh, I tried it once and uh, I used half a fire extinguisher. This stuff literally is, it looks like the Zeppelin, uh, like a, like a <laughs> Hindenburg. Hindenburg going up. <laughs> it's, it's literally like that, you know, you, you, you imagine how fast that, what was that? That was about a minute and 40 seconds or something, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's, it's horrendous. Uh, I say I tried it once and never again. Full stop. Well, I'm gonna. Tr I have to tread on it now. That's what I wanted. No, God! No, God! Please, no! <sighs> no! 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 Never even know I was there. Okay, so we just tidy the centre up a little bit. Yeah, stay when you're right. It is. Uh, they are. It, it needs a company to to challenge YouTube. Really, there's not that many. Vimeo's got a more of a, a arty and business front. There's no one really to challenge YouTube. They're just too big and too powerful. Nice for somebody to do something about that. And actually put put the put it back in the hands of the creators it needs uh needs a disruptor someone like elon to come along but even he's at the behest now of the commercials of everything yeah we have thought of um you know going on to one of these channels where it's sort of like you you need to paid subscription albeit that's a small subscription but to be honest uh we like to stay here because we like to give you guys this content and i say you know if you watch it live which we would hope that you know would be better for everybody with no commercials and then after that if people do come across it there will be adverts in it and you know I say it's about the creating for us but it would be it would be nice if we had a few sponsors and things like that but um the only sponsors are well, that's right us <laughs> we sponsor ourselves Oh, shit. a bit slippy over here right okay so i'm going to put a little skadoosh of special sauce i think in the middle shall we mate put some special sauce in the center here's a question can you Right. I know this is difficult, and I know you had a problem with the TV earlier, and I know I'm asking a lot of you, right? I, I know I'm asking a lot of you, but 
could you grab the Rome cam and the special source and show us the reaction? <laughs> I'll try, shall I? <laughs> would, Thanks. Would you all like to see that? Okay. Uh, call to gaming. Do it. Uh, X is making a stab at it. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'll keep my eye on Twitter. Right, okay, let's see. I'm going to try and get this kind of this over into the middle. Yeah, it's not going to be too easy, I think. Try not to slip. Right, are we ready, folks? Ready? Okay, I like that. It's kind of crab nebula kind of thing. Let's uh, let's try. It's enough. And just in the middle. Okay. Right, you're on overhead now, buddy. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully you can see in the middle. That's kind of like opening it up like a little, little galaxy kind of thing. I quite like that. It's got some legs for me there. Right, let's have a walk around. Another beauty here, look, of doing it flat on the floor is I can walk around it all, which is nice. I've just got to get my head around the fact that it's very dark and very black. But I'm following the client's brief. Black with, uh, with hints of the other colours. Pretty much like that. It's definitely not going to be any silver in this. And I think if I was to add anything to the centre now, it's not going to mix with everything else. So what I've got to be very careful of now is not to overdo the thinners, although I do think there are one or two small areas where I could do with changing that. One thing I don't like is this line here. It's too pronounced, so let's delineate that a little bit. Yeah, thank you. And yeah, a really good artist sponsor themselves. <laughs> In case of having to, really, isn't it? Uh, donation dance is definitely about. Yeah, we'll, we'll dance for money. <laughs> oh yeah, special sauce never goes away, Zane. Okay, so I think I'm pretty pretty okay with that. That seems, you know, I know it's quite unusual, but it's big and it's powerful, and that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be full of intricate details, mainly the darkness, but with these things coming through, I think that's a good starter for ten. What I might do is take some of these nuances into other paintings as we do it. There's going to be at least four done for this client. So this is only the first one, which is nice, but there's some cool things going on. I'm still quite anxious to see what's actually happening now. Put the thinners on. Things seem to have stabilized a little bit, but I am getting some quite interesting rivers coming up. So I think what I'm going to do, there are a couple of areas I need to treat. And I'm going to do that now. Let's see if I can get down where I need to be. Sorry, dude, were you going to ask me something? Who was that? Call to Gaming. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the special source is pretty evil. There's only four, four components to it, but none of which are nice to breathe in. Reflection of something red. Where, where's that then, right? Just come on the line a minute. So, I'm on over. Oh, there. right. Yeah, I, I can what see that? that. What, what is uh, that? Because that's not colour, is it? Is no. that something reflecting? Something is reflecting. What is it's that? reflecting. It looks red. Oh, I can see it. Yeah? What is that? I'm trying to figure out where you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's the cushion. Ah. <laughs> Just I can see it. The pink of the cushion is oh, reflected. Pink of the cushion. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. very interesting. That's weird. It looks, it looks very nice with that sort of deep, yeah, most, uh, burgundy effect, sort of plum colour. That looks quite nice in there. 
Right, so what I'm trying to do now, I know this is quite subtle, but this is where the painting is won or lost. I want to bring out some where these rivers are starting to form is to make sure that they are forming properly. What if I get some of the harshness of some of the colours somewhere, let them blend into each other, because that's where we're going to get the warmth, where the copper and the gold and the black decide to meet each other. Right through the middle, we've got almost like this kind of fissure of smokiness, which I really like. I know it looks random and haphazard, but I'm trying to figure out where the best place for the thinners is going to be, based on what I've done before. So everything has this kind of subtlety to it. <laughs> I always worry that I just look like a bulldozer, you know, just storming it and just throwing, slapping it around and hoping for the best. I know there is always an organic element to all of this, and I would be completely naive and an absolute liar if I said that there wasn't. However, we also have the opportunity to manipulate um, <clears throat> almost infinitely uh, with where we want the paint to go, and then it becomes a waiting game where we hope for the best. But what I'm trying to do now with these subtleties is delicately kind of influence or tease or push or make the best judgment call on where I want things to be by doing what I'm doing, if that kind of makes sense. But ultimately, I am going to have to leave a lot of this in the lap of the gods. Well, Henry de Haan, you're on form. Making up for the fact there's no purple tonight has come up with a brilliant title. November Storm. I like that a lot. Oh, time for art. Placid Lakes. Uh, I, I, are you from Canada? I, <laughs> like, like, I'm thinking Lake Placid where they had the Olympics. I can't remember. 84, was it? Maybe. Um, I know America hosted the Olympics in 84, didn't they, from Los Angeles. And I think you're pretty sure it was Lake Placid, wasn't it? That we have I'm testing my Olympics history now. Right, so interestingly now, look over where we have this kind of sharp angle. We've got almost these fronds kind of dissolving and pushing themselves towards the middle now, which is great. I'm going to show you on the Rome because some quite other interesting things are happening as well, which you may not have picked up already. Yeah, here, look. See, look, those fronds over to the left side, those three fronds. They're off, look. They're off on their holidays. Yeah, they don't care. What's happening in the centre, look, now we're almost getting bare canvas. Um where the paint is kind of pushing itself against each other and forming these, these gorgeous cells. And then over here, look. Oh yeah, hello. What's going on here? That's quite interesting, isn't it? Things all, all forming as we speak. So, you know, this is definitely a painting of uh, subtleties. Um, you know, which is part of what I wanted to achieve. This isn't... This isn't great big swathes of things. This is all about the subtlety. This is this is things pushing through the darkness, um, you know, which is hopefully grabbing along that brief uh, the client wanted. Um, I, I kind of like this. This has got a lot of uh, there's a lot going on in this. There's definitely a lot going on. I kind of like that. Yeah, it's coming out. Let's have a look this side. Um, yeah, you're right. Saying the lighting rig is kind of reflecting everything. Let yeah, let me let me go on an angle here. See if I can go through the middle. But yes, there is. We have we have to have lighting in here. It's almost impossible to not have it reflecting. <laughs> we try so so hard to light these things properly, but it is almost impossible unless you're seeing it in daylight. Even I'm struggling with it. Uh, but a lot of this glossiness will disappear. Just don't forget we did use gloss and semi-gloss paints and they're going to kind of settle themselves down in the next four or five hours and then uh, really by sort of Friday afternoon this is going to be quite settled. I'm settling down a little bit already which is nice and I rather like that. We'll definitely be having a second go at this. Just as we have a little walk around now you see some of those textural nuances especially here look where this is almost like being in a plane going over a city at night. Love that. Those little gentle seams of gold just working their way through to the centre. Very nice. Okay. I like that. I think uh, I think that's that's a winner, winner chicken dinner, that. Canada 88. Sorry, not 84. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> 
Let's see, see my comments have disappeared up back off the screen again. Um, so, uh, plastic, uh, yeah, I see. Uh, Elon Musk needs one of these paintings up right up his street if he doesn't have one already. Uh, no, he doesn't have one already. But uh, yeah, we'll hit him up and say, "Dude, you need to buy one of these because they're awesome." And you never know. Everybody hit him up. Let's let's all let's all, dear Elon. That we've we we've seen this guy and he makes these most amazing paintings and he does them live and you really need one and you should have your uh, Teslas done in the same color too because that would look really awesome. There you go. I'm going to set a challenge. So somebody get us in front of Elon Musk, and, you, and we'll fly you over here to come and pick your own painting. How's that? Um, yeah, let's set a challenge out there. Who can who who can get in front of the one of the biggest names on the planet? I don't mind Beyonce, um, Elon Musk, uh, Britney. I don't, anybody, anybody who's right up there. Arnold. Um, Arnold. No, but Arnold Ed, love you. I've seen what you've done. It's great. <laughs> I'm to my house, we need to put some paintings up there. Oh, yes. State Wedge 2 has just shared the link on X. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's let's at Elon Musk on Twitter. Let's bombard the dude. You just never know. He's the kind of guy to go, oh, okay. Uh, that'd be awesome. What a thing. Should we get him here for a live stream? How amazing. Let's get Elon Musk painting here. Why not? Why not? I bet he's never done anything like it. So hey, why he shouldn't can, he? He can get here in about four and a half minutes on one of those rockets, can he? <laughs> yeah, and he can land it upright yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, just land it. We've got enough space in the field next door. He can, he can probably land it on the roof. Yeah. Uh, Lynn, Lynn's on it. Oh, this is good. We've all, this is good. I love it. I love it. We've still got to do this. Uh, oh, that, folks, good job I saw it, is a zip tie. So I'll just pull that out of the painting. Uh, right. Lol. Okay, I like this. Um, this is rather nice. This this is a good start. I like this. Remember, we're creating darkness and then adding some light and some gold to it. Uh, so as a start, I'm very happy with that. This is going to dry crazily good, I think, and make lots of interesting rivers and patterns and shapes. So I think I'm done. I think we're going to leave that there for tonight. We may pop up and do a live stream at some point before next Wednesday, but no matter what happens, we are going to be doing this next Wednesday, that which I can guarantee. Uh, who knows what we're doing? Might be doing two of those two little ones. Might be doing another, having another go at doing one of these. I don't know. Could, well, it could, won't be could Friday be. though, will it? Uh, no, it won't be Friday because we're busy on Friday, aren't we? Where are we going to be Friday? We're going to be in London on Friday, and we're going to be delivering an enormous painting. Probably going to be videoing it. So look for that. We might be doing a YouTube short. So look for that on your shorts feed because we'll do you a quick sixty-second tour of one of the most unbelievable homes you could ever possibly see and having a second enormous Suarez painting in there so that's definitely going to be one of those that you're not going to want to miss we'll pop that out on social at a point in time but probably let our patrons see it first thank you lee hello lee that's very nice of you to say that um yeah quite different quite a different thing he's going to give you a quick look on overhead but i am going to say folks that that is done we're going to let the thinners uh, work its magic and see what happens to that. If I come in on tomorrow and it looks horrendous, we'll start all over again. But I got a feeling that might just be quite, quite the interesting piece. So that's where we're going to start with the client commission. Uh, yeah. So final comments, always welcome. Uh, I did tell people how big it was, mate. That's two forty-five square, which is eight foot one, ninety-seven inches. There you go. Uh, so there we go folks right well that's it for number two from the new place we hope you've enjoyed that folks uh, i certainly have I'm great fun doing that and uh, we'll go home now i'm very happy but um it'll be very very interesting to see how that dries yes lynn we, we must come to hatton garden sometime uh there we go folks thank you very much for tuning in this evening hope you've enjoyed it if you managed to stay to the end well done you gold star if you haven't done so already give us a subscribe and a thumbs up that would be awesome and don't forget to share this with Elon Musk. Let's get him down here. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Let's not stay in the wilderness forever. Let's just make it count. Let's do something. Um, wouldn't it be great to bring you all here as well? We should, he should collect everyone who's in the US up and just fly everybody here for a giant paint party. Oh my goodness, can you imagine that? Let's get him. Let's do I'm, I'm excited by that. Anyway, folks, that's it for this week. We're back same time same place next week who knows what we're doing i might start a different commission we might get the spin table out i don't know 
Uh, you'll just have to wait and see. But the only way you're going to find out is to be here, 7.30 p.m. That's GMT this time next week. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We are massively, massively grateful for you always watching on the live streams. And especially if you have joined in the chat, thank you for the donation as well from Cult of Gaming. That is so very kind of you. For all of those who are now watching on Catch Up, uh, please remember to like, share, subscribe. And we will hopefully see you next week. On behalf of AD and myself, we'd like to wish you a very good evening. Uh, stay well, stay safe and healthy. We look forward to seeing you again in seven days' time. That's it from Suarez HQ for one week. We're out of here and a very good evening to you all.